Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I just put up a video not too long ago about what are your responsibilities for making th making improvements in Japan. And uh, I'm going to bring in my friend Brett, and he's going to be doing a series with me about Japanese cultural superstitions. Uh, so here we go. We're going to talk about my, my other topic, my other video. What's up? Hey. <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting that we're talking about Japanese cultural superstitions in a way because it's kind of a superstition in Japan that Japan is maybe does things differently or, mm -hmm. or uh, we don't necessarily understand Japanese culture if we don't just put our heads down and, and work away and accept what's coming at us. I just really think that that's something that has been uh, sold very well to the Japanese people. And maybe it was a necessary thing or it was a useful sort of uh, brainwashing that helped them dig themselves out, out of uh, like uh, just the horrible economic situation they were in after the World War II. Yeah, yeah, because the the uh, economic recovery after World War II was is still one of the most amazing uh, economic recoveries of any country at any time. They mm -hmm. went from a defeated nation in uh, 1945 to a major world power within 20 years. Yeah. And that kind of turnaround is really a very, very significant accomplishment. And part of it is that they did do it through this idea of really hard work, uh, seniority based. Uh, if you've been at the company long enough, the idea is that you know enough about the company to be able to guide where the company's going. I don't necessarily, well, a little. I have a problem <laughs> with the seniority based thing because yeah. what I'm seeing is uh, people in positions of power who are there not because they're good or because they have good ideas but because they've been in the company the longest. Right. We see a lot of that I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And education is really bad. Mm. Yeah. I think that uh, probably that idea is, is long outlasted its, its purpose or its usefulness and now what you see a lot of is just a real lack of efficiency, like very low levels of efficiency because people are still there on the job for, you know, hours and hours and hours and uh, showing themselves first in and last out. And if you're not that person, then you're probably you're going to get bullied or something like that. And just basically doing nothing at work. They're just yeah. sitting there and acting, acting the part, which right. is... One of, waste. The, one of the things that I've seen, and to take it back to education, is a lot of the teachers who are uh, in the public schools, junior high school, high school, uh, they have to be at school by 7.30 in the morning. That's fine. School begins at 8 or 9, depending on where you are. And then they're there all day doing grading tests, teaching classes, uh, grading homework, etc., getting this, trying to get the stuff back to the students. And then after the bell rings and after cleanup time is over, they're still there until 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and they have no life. And so you see teachers cracking under the, this amount of pressure because we're not built for that. Right. And uh, I guess that, that affects everyone. It affects the students. It affects society. And, and maybe just if, if um, the powers that be loosened up their reins a little bit on the, uh, what, time off? time off, vacation time, things like that, not limiting it to Obon and Golden Week and a little bit of time around New Year's. If they just loosen things up and allow people to kind of relax and vacate themselves, things would be a lot better, a lot more relaxed, a lot more efficient. There'd be less suicides, there'd be a lot more happy people. You see a lot of just general unhappiness, you know, yeah. right in society, a lot of suicides. Um, and actually, that's, that's a good segue. There's a Irish gentleman who was up in Tohoku called uh, and he made a video documentary about uh, the, I, the problem of suicide in Japan and the lack of uh, health care and stuff in that respect. The, uh, I'll have a link in the description below for the, the documentary and the person, the I, information. It's uh, Saving 10,000 is the name of the documentary and the name of the Twitter uh, account and I'll have all of that in the links below. I think it's a, supposed it's to be a great really topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. And I it's mean, supposed to be a great video. But the other, the other aspect of it is, uh, this is one of the things that you, you can look at the women's roles in society. 
and the expectation that women are to, once they get married and, or get pregnant, they got to go. Uh, this is kind of a traditional, it's Japanese tradition. This is just the way we do things. I, I don't know. I, I don't buy that. It's a great topic, though, because there's so many different angles. And But I got to say, you know, in the end, that regardless of all the, uh, I guess, negative feelings that I might have towards everything about that topic, my life here isn't necessarily too bad. Right, right. Yeah, no, no, no. And I'm not saying that at all. My, my life here is... Uh, pretty much what I want it to be. I, I, of course, everybody wants a little, a little better, a little more time off, a little more, more money. Mm. But I, I, if I hated it, I would leave. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's nothing. I don't have any actual nails through my feet, and so yeah. you know, it is. It's possible to get out. Yeah. So the to be or not to be soliloquy, in particular, the beginning. Do you take up arms against a sea of troubles? Uh, and try to fight against the machine or do you just let it go and slide and, and give up on it? Uh, I think that uh, that might be an interesting topic to explore over the next year or so. Uh, so we'll come back and do this now that we have easy ac easier access to the basement here. Uh, we'll uh, take a look at it. So thank you very much, Brett, for coming in. Appreciate Thanks, it Scott. and look forward to seeing the next series on uh, superstition and cultural stuff. Yay. All right, we're up. See ya.